The 2018 NFL Draft saw five quarterbacks get drafted in the first round. It was the year of the QB. Yet in a draft dominated by the front seven, one QB is being talked about more than any of the 2018 prospects. He may be small, but the hype is gigantic. Meet Kyler Murray. The 5'10 mobile QB is the most controversial prospect I've seen, and it's not hard to see why. So I watched every snap from Kyler's season with one objective. Find out if Kyler will be an NFL star. However, I discovered the true question to his success wasn't his talent, it was his team. So the true objective of this film room is to find out how to build an offense around Kyler Murray. The first thing you need to make Kyler successful is a strong pocket. Florida is only rushing three here against an incredible O-line. As you can see here, Kyler has a clean pocket which allows him to look deep down the field and make a beautiful throw for a 65 yard touchdown. When you have an arm like Kyler Murray and time to throw, it's guaranteed offense. Once again, he has a pocket so clean that even your grandma won't try to vacuum it. He is allowed to throw a beautiful back shoulder pass and an even better catch to finish it off. This may have been Kyler's best pass of the year. With no one in his face, he threads the needle between two defensive backs for an amazing touchdown. Once again, he has his pocket, so he's looking for the man furthest downfield, which we'll get to later if that's a good or bad thing. But on a play like this, you're simply left in awe of his amazing ability. But what happens when the pass rush gets to him? UCLA has some great defensive play calling, and this was just one of them. They have five down linemen here and two linebackers playing in coverage, except they're actually blitzing. Now, Kyler actually has a good look here over the middle, but while under pressure, his pass is tipped at the line and ultimately deflected by the DB, who is visibly frustrated because this pass easily could have been a pick. The second thing you want to build around Kyler is a smart offensive play caller who can get Kyler into space. You can't replace Lincoln Riley, but you can take notes. He has the entire O-line on the left half of the field. This leaves Kyler with half the field to roll out, which is when he's most dangerous. This play was no exception as the defense tries to hurry and make sure Kyler doesn't run, but he makes an amazing pass which ends in a completion. Unfortunately, from my scouting of Cliff Kingsbury's best college season, in which he went 8-5 and five with the true freshman Baker Mayfield, who interestingly enough would start over Kyler Murray at Oklahoma, Kingsbury's play calling was unimaginative at best, along with the weak O-line, and Arizona does not check the first two boxes for Kyler Murray. The last thing necessary to succeed with Kyler is good QB development. Luckily, Cliff Kingsbury being a former QB should help Kyler, and boy does Kyler need it. Kyler lacks a few qualities needed to be an effective QB. The first is pocket awareness. This edge defender is actually blitzing and does not get picked up, which leads to the sack. The problem is, Kyler doesn't even see him. The defender is a yard away from Kyler, yet Kyler's eyes are 100% on his receiver and doesn't even notice the incoming sack. Similarly, Kyler also has a problem with locking onto receivers. Before this play began, he decided this ball was going to his deep right outside receiver. You could see him looking deep while his tight end is completely open. He forces a pass and it gets intercepted. Like I said, this pass was decided before the play even started, which leads to my final point. Kyler Murray's pre-snap reads are simply awful. Once again, a beautiful blitz disguised by UCLA, as you assume the linebackers will blitz, if anyone. However, they're actually in coverage, and it's a corner blitz. When Kyler sees the blitz, he knows where it came from, so he immediately throws to the receiver that was being guarded by the corner, but misses him heavily. If this doesn't change, Kyler will never succeed in the NFL. But if it does, he has the chance to be one of the best QBs this game has ever seen. I can see Kyler as a guy who has his best season at age 30 to 32 rather than earlier in his career due to changing teams as well as just overall development. But if Kyler can ever reach his full potential, then the NFL will be in deep trouble. 
Thank you so much for watching. My mock draft should be out on Friday. Like and sub. I'll see you soon. Silver Kruger on the track.